Yo, what's going on fam? Today I'm going to show you guys how to vinyl wrap a motorcycle from start to finish. Let's start with the materials. So first thing I like to use is these disposable blades. These blades just snap off. I have the uh, titanium version. You got to be really careful with the titanium ones because they're super sharp and they'll scratch everything. Next, just a squeegee of some sort. It's got a velvet end right there. Uh, some cutting tape. This is by Wrap Cut. Got it on Amazon. This just helps uh, if you're like trying to make precise cuts. You're gonna need a heat gun. This one's from Harbor Freight. Paid 16 bucks after taxes. Uh, this is actually my second one. First one broke after about a year and a half or so. Um, it lasted actually pretty long. Next, obviously some vinyl. I like using Avery Supreme. Um, I don't know, it's what I've always used. I've tried 3M, but 3M just takes a little more heat to stretch, and uh, Avery is more pliable, I think. So I use Avery Supreme. And everything I have here, I'll go ahead and link below. If it's not linked, you can probably Google it. I like to be very simple. I don't carry around a uh, vinyl wrapping tool belt or anything like that. Uh, very simple when it comes to vinyl wrapping stuff. So let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is take part of the motorcycle, get all the fairings prepped, basically just clean them. I use simple green, don't need nothing fancy. Um, and then I'll, I'll start off with the easy stuff. So let's start with the nose fairing. Okay, and then we'll do, we'll probably do these side panels. This one's damaged, but um, the vinyl wrap will and that all those scratches won't show. Move on to the tail section afterwards. Probably do the tank last. I always do the tank cover last because I do that in two pieces. So whenever I'm wrapping pieces, I like to like just kind of mount them on the bike but have them easily removable. When I stretch the vinyl, it just, it just helps that the uh, the piece is taut. If, I, if I'm wrapping on a table, it makes it a lot harder, the, the fairing, it just, it just slips on me, so I like to just mount it, maybe put like one or two screws to hold this fairing in place, and then once I get like most of it laid out and stretched out and I'm ready to cut, I'll, I'll pull it off and I'll just cut it um, inside on my table or something like that. I'll take my measuring tape and I'll measure like a square around the part that I'm wrapping. I like to go like two inches, two to three inches past so this one I'll call like a uh, 31 by 2 foot and you can do this upside down too and use a marker but I'm not gonna do that 31 be right here let's do that mark it right there round it off a little bit Now, I've already prepped this earlier. Um, you just kind of give it a good once look over just to make sure there's no uh, big specks. Double check, make sure everything looks good. And it does. All right, so I found a couple rough spots, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just to be sure, I'm gonna use some denatured alcohol to go ahead and clean this up some more. This evaporates really, really quick, so. You don't really have to wait long for it to dry. And you're just gonna drape it over just like that. Try to find the right spot for it first. Okay. And then I like to start in the middle. They call this glassing. Okay. And notice I'm not using any heat yet. I don't like to use a lot of heat when I wrap, so. Yeah. 
So one thing that's good about uh, cold stretching is you don't have to worry about it over stretching because you're not applying any heat to it at all. All right, so I got this left side practically done. I'm gonna hit that next side. Alright guys, so I got the uh, majority of it um, stretched onto the fairing. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove this and finish it off on my table. Actually before I do that I'm going to get it with some heat um, just to make sure there's no uh, bubbling. If there is I can just press it down. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Or not, it's like in this area. That's why you hit it with some heat. To find those spots, and just push it down with your finger. There's more right there coming up. See that? You guys can see that. So all I do is I just take my finger and just push them down. You can use a squeegee too, but I like using my finger. And I hit it again with some heat. Push it in again. Right there. See these spots right here? I'm just working out all that air. Those are just pockets of air. You can either work them out or just press it in. All right, there it is. Now I'm gonna bring this inside and just kinda start cutting. This part I really wanted you guys to understand. So every time you come across an edge like this and you're gonna wanna fold it over, the, the technique is to basically to shrink the vinyl wrap around it and it creates like a uh, almost like a cling or like a really secure um, spot to where it doesn't start peeling because these these corners are very uh, prone to peeling so what you want to do is try to shrink the vinyl onto these corners right here so you got one two three and then like a bunch right here, four, five, six, seven. So I got seven corners I need to shrink. All right, so we're gonna shrink this corner right here. So, see that? Just kind of start folding it over, try to get all those uh, little fingers out. They call them little fingers. I just call them little creases, little wrinkles. Okay, you wanna get that on just like that. Get as much of that out as you can, stretch it out. Okay. And right about there, you're gonna add a little bit of heat. And it starts to shrink onto the corner. As it cools down, you're just stretching it over. You don't wanna stretch too hard when it's hot because it'll rip.
add a little bit more heat. Let that cool a little bit. You can feel it, your fingers are here. You'll know how hot it is. And you'll know how much to stretch so you don't rip it. See? That is a very, very, very nice corner. So I'm just gonna repeat that on all the corners and then I'll keep folding the sides over and I'll keep adding heat just so I can get a really, really nice tight wrap around the uh, the fairing. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting even though the other side is not finished. I basically made a little relief cut right here. And then I started pushing it in with my fingers as far as you can go over because there's like a little, um, little ledge or something right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start cutting. All I like to do is like do just a little bit at a time. Start peeling it back and then pushing those edges down with my finger. See that? Right there. So this is all already heated and shrunk in. Just kind of start cutting along this edge. Okay. All right, so you cut pretty far, so right there. And then I'll just keep pulling and pushing it down, and then right where I left off is where I'll keep cutting, and then I'll push it in again. Now the key to vinyl wrapping, to good vinyl wrapping, is just, it's patience. You gotta be really patient. I, I can vinyl wrap this pretty quick, but if you want it to last, you have to be pretty patient. Okay, so as I'm folding over, you guys can see I'm making these uh, relief cuts because I can't fold this over like that. So I'm, I'm gonna probably make a relief cut right here too. See this curve? It's really hard to fold it over at these curves. So what I did is made some relief cuts so that way it's a lot easier to just fold over like that.
Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. It's 11:20 right now. Um, it looks really good. It looks really good. I'm freaking excited. What's going on, guys? It's day two. Uh, I just had breakfast. So, just want to show you guys the progress on the nose. I have it mounted right here. You can see how clean it came out, and I really took my time on this wrap. I want this one to uh, last because. I really like this color, but yeah, you can see the edges are very clean. Um, you might be wondering, like, there's a spot here that's kind of bubbled up, and you just push it in. I uh, left it overnight. It's cold in the garage, so let me pull this off here. So, okay. And you can see there, there's some wrinkles. But that's all on the inside anyway. What I'm concerned about, or what I'm looking for, is any lifting. And especially in these uh, these corners. And it doesn't seem to be, uh, doesn't seem to be lifting at all, so. Those are the areas of concern. But yeah, this one, this one came out good, so let's go ahead and keep going. Um, for now, we're just gonna do the two smaller side panels that are carbon fiber. So one thing I wanted to mention was that when you're working on something, whether it's vinyl wrapping or changing oil or anything um, that has to do with working on your, your stuff, try to keep everything clean, try to keep everything organized. That way you're not losing tools, uh, you're not misplacing any items, you're not wasting time looking for stuff. So notice I have that table. I don't have any uh, like used up vinyl laying around. I do have that that backing from the that roll, which I am gonna toss. But a lot of times, like we get really messy, and that's when you start to lose things. And sometimes it takes forever when you're trying to find something, or it's just it's just it's not. It makes things a lot harder if you're messy, and that's how I've lost a lot of tools. Really, um, you know my. I let my friends come in here and that's fine, they can use my tools or whatever, it's just they're not really organized or they don't, maybe they don't care, I don't know. But yeah, see like look, I'm missing here, I've, I've showed you guys a bunch of missing tools before um, and that's just, it's just due to not being organized and not cleaning as you go. So I think really just cleaning as you go, staying clean is really important whenever you're working on a project. So as you can see, this piece has some scratches from when I went down in the summer. But the big thing about the R1Ms is that um, their fairings, a lot of their fairings are carbon fiber. Now these, this piece specifically is not OEM. And as much as I would like to just buy another set of this, yeah, I think I paid like $169 for two of these. I think what I'm gonna do since this top part is not scratched up and I really wanna show a little bit of carbon fiber, I think I'm just gonna stick some uh, cutting tape right here to make a nice straight edge that way it'll still show a little bit of carbon fiber and it'll go along with that uh, R1M theme. Alright so for the cutting tape the string is always on one side of this uh, this tape here so that's the tape the tape is the red and then there's the string. Where you want to place the string when you're pulling up it's a lot better if you have this tape on the side that you're not using. Does that make sense? So this side, this side of the vinyl is what's gonna be on the bike and this will be like the wrinkly, crappy side. So that way when you pull up on the string, this tape will come along with it rather than sticking underneath the side that you're keeping. So you really have to pay attention to how you lay down this cutting tape. Whether the, the actual tape itself is gonna be underneath the piece that you're keeping or if it's going to be underneath the piece that you're throwing away. For me it's easier if the tape is underneath the piece that it's thrown, that you're throwing away but if you mess it up it's not that big a deal you just pull it out and just press it down but just to make things a lot easier for you. Okay so we're going to have use this as an example so everything on this side is going to be tossed so the way I'm laying this down is the string is going to be on this side the tape is going to be on this side just like this.
And now when I lift it up, this red tape is gonna come off with the stuff I'm tossing. Okay. And just start using your fingers to press it down. So I'll just go all the way across right in the center, like that. And just start pushing it out with my fingers. Very simple. This this piece is this piece should take you only a few minutes to do. And that's it. <laughs> start stretching these ends right here because you're gonna start cutting it on these ends. Right where the uh, cutting tape is, really, really press that in with your fingers. Okay? And obviously everything that's past this point, this is where I'm cutting, so this part doesn't really matter. Okay? And then just kind of start forming the shape by stretching it. See, you see this, the shape forming slowly. And again, with these edges, we're going to shrink those edges. That way we can get a really, really nice, uh, nice cling, nice seal. Okay, and just like before, we're gonna heat the surface to get rid of some, uh, some bubbles. And just like before, there's a ton forming, and all you do is just take your finger and just press them down. Kind of want to start in the middle just in case they uh, they start forming up together just like that. But it's very easy. You just work them out with your fingers. You can use a squeegee too. If it makes your uh, life easier. You won't have sore fingers. <laughs> Okay, that looks good. I'll hit it again with some heat. No more? Cool. Now we can start with the edges. Start forming this edge right here. Just like that. Hit it with heat. If I can, let me see here. There it is again. We're gonna hit that with some heat. And just keep forming it over, just like that. That will create a nice seal. Cause it's those edges, like I said, it's those edges where uh, it starts to lift. Those are very prone to lifting. So really, really wanna seal those edges. So I'm just gonna do that again with these. that here's another corner right here and you see how I'm waiting before I start stretching it for the uh, vinyl to cool you want to wait for it to cool before you start stretching it, even if it's like a couple seconds. Because you could rip it very easily if you don't wait. So I have a little bit of tension right here. I'm going to make a relief cut. Just fold that down. Just like that. Add some heat. And fold it over. There it is. Okay. 
and now you can start cutting. I'm not going to fold these over because this piece is so easy to repair if I really needed to. Um, but the way I'm sealing these edges, I, I, I trust myself enough to where I'm very confident that it's not going to start peeling. So again, I'm just going to cut, I'm going to use the very middle parts of the blade to cut. Um, I haven't snapped it yet because I'm not doing any fine cuts, I'm just kind of gliding my blade across the edge. So that's, that's all you want to do, you want to finesse it, okay? So get those edges nice and firm and then start cutting like that and you just want to glide it over, okay? Just like that, see? And you know, it's not gonna be perfect on the bottom, but, you guys can see that. See how it's kind of wavy? But on the other side, you can't really tell. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, sides with some heat. Really get a nice seal on it. And just take your fingers and then just run it across the edges and that should be good. Okay, now for the satisfying part. Normally these kind of, you should just be able to just rip it off, but that takes forever. So what you're going to want to do is just cut into the tape and try to expose the, uh, the little uh, string. Be careful with this part because um, you can cut your fingers really easily. So it's a little cut like that. Should be able to pull that out now. There it is. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is just pull the string just like that. And then right here on this part, you just want a nice little tug. And what I do is I'll, I'll hold, I'll hold the vinyl and the tape in like with one finger, and I'll tug on it. I'll get it all the way to the edge. And if you there's also a little trick. You can just make a little cut with the blade right here. Just like that. Just a little cut. And then try to get it in like one pull. Okay. You can even heat it a little bit. That softens up the vinyl and makes the string cut easier. Just like that. All right, so now remember what I said about the tape being on this side? You guys can see that. So the tape is actually under the side that I'm not using. And instead of pulling on the vinyl, I'm gonna pull on this and that'll lift up, see? That lifts up the side you're not using. And there you go, you got a nice straight edge. And you just start pushing, pushing it down. And that's it. I'm gonna repeat it again on the uh, the other piece like this. All right, so I got those uh, smaller, easier pieces done. Now we're gonna work on the uh, right side. This is where, again, I, I have some uh, scratches and damages. And this is where the vinyl will come in and just clean all that up. Things to take note of, um, there's these little ridges, okay? I call them like little valleys, basically. Basically, it goes in like this, okay? And if you lay the vinyl on top like that and try to push it in, like through stretching, it's gonna pop right back up. And there's there's two ways to remedy this. Uh, the first way is you use this stuff called primer and it helps, it'll help keep the uh, vinyl um, 
in there and, and stuck and, and, and it won't pop up. Okay. Uh, the second way is you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna start wrapping this and instead of going over both sides, so instead of wrapping it like that and then trying to push it in, what you're gonna wanna do is wrap one side, push it in here, and then over to the other side like that. That's how you wanna wrap it. Otherwise, if you're just stretching it into the into that little ridge or that little indent, um, more than likely it's gonna pop up. And it's popped up on me um, when I've wrapped this one specifically uh, numerous times. Um, right here, I've done that to where I just, I wrap over it and then I heat it and I stretch it in and I didn't put any primer in there and uh, it just popped up. So this time I'm just gonna wrap, probably start here in the middle, wrap, push, 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 push that in and then stretch this out like that. That way I have more material in there and it's less likely to uh, come out. So like I said, you gotta watch that indent, that little ridge and it's like right about here. It's right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna glass the center, and I'm gonna pull this back up, and then go right in that ridge with some material. Pull that over. Okay, now we're gonna work on this ridge right here. I'm gonna lift. Okay, and then I'm gonna start uh, pushing this in. Just like that. Now with big pieces like this, you're gonna get a lot of wrinkles which is fine as long as you haven't heated it too much. As you can see, I've used zero heat on this. So, see how I'm pushing a lot of material in? Then I'm just gonna stretch it right back out anyway once it comes over that ridge. Now this is what's hard about taking the fairings off before you start wrapping because when you're stretching everything, the fairings move. And it's really annoying to try and stretch this. All right, so there's plenty of material in that, in that little ridge right now. And that shouldn't cause anything to pop up, even if I heat it. That should stay in place. So I'll keep going at this. All right, so I got, I got about halfway there and um, I think what I'm gonna do now is start trimming areas where I think there's gonna be excess vinyl just to make it easier for me. So let's go ahead and do that.
All right, guys, so that is it. It's practically done. It took about 40 minutes or so. Some areas of concern for me are like right here. But I think it'll be fine. I'm just gonna, just gonna really heat it up and see if anything comes up. But the major areas that I was concerned about here and here, I, I'm pretty confident those aren't gonna lift. <laughs> All right, so I haven't left yet. I went ahead and uh, finished up this uh, cutting of the uh, side here. Um, again, I wanted to show some carbon fiber, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling this like that. And just to the bottom like that. Can grab that tape, and that's it. That's a nice and clean line. Just pushing that side a little bit, and that's good. All right, guys. So <clears throat> I just got home from school. I just kind of left this uh, sitting right here in my living room, and uh, basically it looks good. Um, I wanted to leave it to see if there was anything that would pop up and it looks like right there it uh it did start lifting right there and that's kind of what i said about the little valley or little ridge thing so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to repair that um how i'm going to do that is i'm going to just add some heat and try to stretch that into place and hopefully that that fixes it. Notice how I haven't really cut anything. You don't want to start cutting yet um, just in case you get like unexpected lifting in certain places where you haven't ha added um, where you haven't added heat. So even right here it started lifting too. If you guys can see that. So I'm um, now I'm gonna try to add heat to it. Before I, I unwrap everything I'm gonna try to add, add heat and push it in and then just kind of leave it to see where I'm at and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, probably start on the other piece all right so it looks like that pretty much fixed it. Just, I just had to add a little bit of heat and um, I let some of this area escape, this, this little air pocket escape through here. And it seems to be fine. Like when I add heat, nothing seems to be lifting. At least nothing like major. Like there's like little bubbles in here. Um, I could probably lift it and get it out, but it's it's just so small, it's not even noticeable. Yeah, see, as I push them down, they're not, they're just kind of going away. So just kind of work at it and then try to get those out. But it's already starting to look pretty, pretty good. And for this, um, I'm not gonna do like a direct on the line cut. I'm gonna put leave some tabs where I think um, lifting might occur. Let me just show you what, guys what I mean. So what I can do here is just, I can just start tabbing everything like that. You can even cut these shorter if you wanted to, but basically uh, on the areas that I feel like I need more, uh, more places for it to stick, I'll just make a tab like that. Okay, and I'll just leave it like that. You could even, um, you can even tape it on the back. You can either use more vinyl or just use like duct tape or, or just some kind of tape. But I'm just gonna, um, some areas I'm definitely gonna leave like this because I don't want it to, to lift. I wanted to show you guys um, a little trick of how I, I like to cut like these. Like remember what I said about the tab thing? Um, 
So right here, there's just a lot of curving. And uh, just the way that the shape of this fairing is, I, I'm not confident that this is not gonna lift. So this is where I'll create tabs. So I can here, I'll probably make a tab and then um, likely like a couple in this area. Definitely in here, something like this. And I'll cut some more like that. Okay. And then maybe something like this. Okay. And then like this. And then you can just keep going this all the way around. And then just start folding these over. And try to get these to stick. Eventually, so I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see the other side. Always double check the other side to make sure you have no creases. And it looks pretty good. If you guys can see that. So, that's the curve I just kind of fold it over. And then I'll probably do it on this side too. Just check to see if you guys can see it. Okay, so I'll do it on this side too. But that is what I just did right there. And it looks really, really clean. So, I'm gonna keep going. All right, so I'm at this really, this really gnarly sharp corner. And I'm gonna apply that same, uh, shrinking technique to uh, just try to shrink some vinyl around that. So what I'm gonna do is create small tabs. So let's get, let's get about that much. This is where you have to really, really be patient because you don't want this side to lift. But again, like these corners are not prone, surprisingly, to lifting. So here's what I'm gonna do. Keep downsizing this. Keep shrinking it. See that? See how it kind of shrunk around it? That'll hold it. That will actually hold it just enough. I guess. See that? Sucker. Okay. So, I'm just gonna just gonna cut it like this. So. It, it's staying there. So there's not much material there, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with some heat again and see if that folds over. Yep. So that's definitely on there. So what I could do is just fold this side over as much as possible. I might have to cut a little bit more off this lip right here. But I can show you guys. 
careful with your fingers here. So again, all I'm doing is trying to ensure that this doesn't lift. Okay. So I have a little fold there and then I'm going to cut some of this off. It's a little much. I'm just going to stretch it away, pull it out of the way. So there, I basically just did um, what I did here except onto this corner because I didn't really trust this sharp corner but I made sure to shrink it first onto the corner and then I made like smaller folds similar to these right here and I'm just gonna keep folding that over yep there it is right there so it does look good part here yeah. Okay. And always keep checking the other side. So you want to constantly check the other side while you're cutting. Just uh, for wrinkles and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep going at this. Use those shrinking techniques. Just, just use your common sense. Like if you think, if you're not confident about something, try to find ways to reinforce it. Whether it's tape, you can even use glue if you really wanted to on the other side. Um, it's up to you. Basically, you just you want to just take your time on this part, and sometimes it, it just takes hours. Like I've, I've been on this for a couple hours now, um, so I'm gonna keep going, and make it look really nice for you guys. Alright, so I'm kind of nearing nearing the end here. So as you can see, I've created um, a lot of tabs here and I'll probably uh, reinforce it um, with some more vinyl pieces just to tape over it like that. Uh, just so you guys can fully see what I'm talking about. Now. I wanted to record this part because this is like the most satisfying part for me. It's the part with the uh, the tape tape knife or whatever. So let's go ahead and uh, start this off. So I like to give it a uh, I like to give it a head start. So I'll just make a cut there or something like that. And then I'll try to expose that that string if I can. Sometimes it's kind of hard, but let's see. If I do this with one hand. So there it is. Let's get this separated here. Boom. Okay, go ahead and find where I cut. And I'm just gonna put my thumb there and just start, give it a quick yank. I don't drop this. There it is, okay. So, you wanna do like a straight shot. And then once you get to here, you kind of want to stop a little bit early and just make sure everything's kind of pressed in before you finish it off. There you go. Now the reveal. You can either start here or you can start pulling this up. Let's take the whole thing. Yanking too much off of this. Yeah. Ah. Boom. Love this part. This is my favorite part. <laughs> and then you just press in the. 
the edge with your finger. Okay, so I'm practically done with this piece. I'm gonna leave it overnight. Um, basically just see if there's any more lifting. Uh, if there is, I'll hit it with some heat. Um, I went ahead and hit all the edges with more heat, just to be sure. But basically I showed you guys the, <laughs> the really tedious way of vinyl wrapping. This took me a good three hours. Um, probably because I was filming on top of it too and trying to trying to show you guys some techniques but tomorrow I'm gonna show you guys the uh, quick and easy way um, basically it's not as tedious so uh, it might not come out as good as this job did since that technique takes less time you won't feel as bad if you screw up but yeah let's leave this overnight and I'll see you guys tomorrow all right guys, day three. And uh, I left this overnight. It's about four in the afternoon right now. I just got home from school and it looks good. Uh, I didn't really get um, any lifting to be honest. Um, I had a little bit here, as you can see. And I'm just gonna push that down and that's all you could really do is just keep pushing them down. Um, but, you know, I'm not really that worried about this spot because it's, it's pretty flat. If I really have to, I'll just cut cut the pieces that are uh, I keep lifting. But it's just very minor. Um, I was very pleased with this. And this right here, these little recesses, they came out pretty good. Um, I don't see any more lifting there so let's go to the garage whoops okay guys so I showed you guys the uh, long and tedious way of how to vinyl wrap and honestly for a motorcycle um, if you want it to last I think that is the best way to do it I'm not saying this way that I'm about to show you is not gonna last because I've done it this way uh, many times it's just um this way is like the quick and fast way to do it. I could I could wrap this bike in, in one day and, it, and I've done it in a couple hours really. Um, but I, I wouldn't suggest this if you want it to last a little bit because you're gonna get a lot of lifting. Um, there's gonna be a lot of areas that aren't perfect. Uh, if you want it like really, really, really good, that example that I showed previously with the tabs and, and just taking it off and making sure everything was clean and you know making clean cuts and being really patient. That's the way you want to do it. This is kind of the uh, quicker way to vinyl wrap. And this is how a lot of cars are being vinyl wrapped. They're not taking panels off. They're just wrapping them um, with everything on the car. Maybe bumpers will come off, but um, yeah, they're not taking stuff off. Uh, I like this way better because one, it's faster. Two, um, this this fairing is not moving around on me. Um, it's on the bike. Uh, I have plenty of room to stretch. Uh, I have two free hands, whereas the other way I essentially had like one and a half hands. So yeah, let's let's get on with this. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is mount it on, and maybe use like this one screw, and I don't know, maybe this right here since. I'm not wrapping it here just to just to hold it so let's get this on okay so that's pretty solid I'm gonna go ahead and um, as usual I'm gonna wipe it down with some uh, alcohol you can use simple green again um, but I've already cleaned it with simple green so I'm just gonna do a quick wipe and then I'll add the uh, the knife tape Okay, now I can start applying the uh, vinyl wrap. And just like last time, I'm gonna be weary of this uh, recess right here. This little ridge that I call it. And um, I'm gonna find a starting point. So 
somewhere right here. So all this, this whole area right here is pretty flat. Okay. So this is a good area to, to start. Um, if I really wanted to, I could, I could do this last, but I want to get this out of the way. So I'm going to focus on getting the most material I can into this ridge. So that way I don't get any lifting. Okay. And then I'm going to work my way up. Once I get that done, come here, finish this side. And then towards the end, finish it off right here. Okay. And then after that, I'll take it off and make my cuts. Uh, you can make your cuts while the fairing is on the bike, but honestly, you want to try to like use this, uh, these ledges to try to hook the vinyl in a place. So that's why I only use this screw and that top screw because I want to be able to take it off and finish it off uh, inside. So I pre-cut the vinyl already. And um, just so I know, um, so I don't get confused, I marked the backside top and bottom. So right now I'm just trying to make sure I have it uh, lined up correctly. I'm not pressing in in too many areas. Um, and it looks like I do have it lined up correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and start pushing this into that recess. So I ran into a little, uh, a little block here. It's one of the fairings. Um, so this right here, this is keeping me from wrapping this. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that um, just the way it is. Maybe like drape it over like this for now. And then when I take it, when I take the fairing off, I'll finish it off. Because that, that little part is not that big of a deal. All right, so you see these, these lines right here? I'm gonna pull this downwards to get rid of them. So. Okay. Just like that. That's all vinyl wrapping is. It's just stretching and squeegeeing. Whether you're using a squeegee or your hands to get rid of these bubbles and wrinkles. That's all it is. See that? Now I'm gonna peel the rest of this off. So the problem with starting at the recess is uh, the just you're just gonna have to stretch everything else around it but the rest of this is pretty flat so I don't think I'm gonna have too big of an issue stretching it this frame slider is in the way so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a cut because what I should have done is taken it out but it's too late at this point so that's okay I'm going to make sure I don't cut anything behind it. I don't cut too much off, but nice little slit right here. Should be good. Okay, so now I can get in here and really start stretching. Stretch it. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another cut in here. Again, being wary of where all the uh, bearing is. Because I don't want to start over. 
Okay, now I can get my hand in there and stretch that out. Right there. It's just the process of stretching uh, one section to this section, to this section, to this section. That's what vinyl wrapping is, guys. It's not that difficult. Okay, so here I have all this excess. I'm gonna trim a little bit away, okay. See, I'm not trimming too much. Doing a little bit at a time because I don't wanna, again, I don't wanna over trim this whole thing and then, you know, I'm left with a big ass spot where there's no vinyl, right? So, you just kind of keep going. Okay, like right here. I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna work on this side now. So I'm gonna pop all this out. Okay. And again, you can use a squeegee. I prefer not to. I just trust my fingers more. Although you can definitely, like, you can cover more with a squeegee as far as sque squeezing stuff out. Okay, but I just, again, I, I like to use my fingers. You guys can use a squeegee if you want. I prefer not to. Uh, I'll use it when it's necessary. So again, I'm just literally going down the center and moving my moving my way out. Okay, you see how I start? Okay. Let's see that? Alright, so see how I started in the center, now I'm working my way out again. And just this is all cold stretch. I haven't even, I have not touched my heat gun once, okay? This is all cold stretch.
There's a wrinkle here I want to get rid of. That's all it is. Very simple. It's not hard, guys. It's not hard. Okay, <laughs> my daughter's crying. Uh, luckily, I finished this just in time. It is now 5.45, so I started wrapping right around 5.35, 5.40, so this took just over an hour to do, whereas when I had the fairing off, um, it took me like a good two or two and a half hours of wrapping. So I'm gonna go get my daughter. I'm gonna leave this here for now. I'm not gonna take it off. Um, when I come back, I will take it off. One pull, just like that. Okay, when you come to the end, you wanna stop a little bit. Just make sure it cuts correctly. Okay, just gonna leave it at that. And then, the satisfying part. Boom. God, that, that part's just so satisfying, man. I just want to knife, knife tape like everything. I love that. Love it. Shut up. Look for any lifting. Again, try not to stop till you get to the stopping point. Start pulling it off. Just like that. Push it down with your fingers. Add some heat. Press down again, and that's it. That looks beautiful, guys. Proud Papa right there. Now, careful when you're yanking on this stuff. Otherwise, it's just easier to cut it. That's it. Okay, so unlike the, uh, the last piece, uh, I'm not gonna be doing a ton of tabs on this. I might do like one or two, just very little tabs. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them just like I did the side panels. See how there's no tabs, but it's still pretty clean. And um, this is a flat piece, so I was really confident on this. Um, this one's not as flat, but I'm really confident in my uh, wrapping skills on this one. So uh, I'm not gonna do the tabs as much. I am gonna heat it all up again and then watch for bubbles, but just like the last one, I don't think there's gonna be uh, there's not gonna be much. This is plastic, but it's it's like a rough surface. Uh, well, it's not rough, but it's kind of hard. And um, I'm just gonna use this piece of foam uh, packaging thing just to lay my uh, piece down. Just help protect it a little bit while I'm doing uh, some work on this side. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this um, right here. This curve right here. What I did is I folded it. I folded it in and I tried to stretch and try to get as many wrinkles as possible. Then I'm going to make a cut right there. Okay, so there you go. I actually left a nice, uh, maybe like a half inch backing on this one, half inch tab. So. All right guys. That's both of them. Both sides done. And uh, they came out really well. So, 
This bottom side, it doesn't really, sorry. These bottoms don't really matter. I just kind of, normally I would make a cut right here, but I think this will just be an extra spot um, for it to kind of anchor on. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'll definitely cut out that hole just like I did with this. Um, <clears throat> for now, I'm gonna uh, leave this overnight. I'm confident I could uh, put it back right now as is, but I'm gonna leave it overnight just in case. I've already heated everything. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to do a cut right here. This is like a little window. And basically I'm just gonna heat it, push it in, and then cut it from the other side. So let's get that done. Actually, before I do that, I wanna show you guys the difference. So this has the uh, multiple uh, tabs folded over. This has uh, a couple big ones there that I was concerned about, um, mainly where that recess is. And then here, I still folded it over. I didn't do the cut at the edge like I thought I was gonna do. The um, reason being is I was already there. So normally if I didn't take the fairings off, I would just cut it um, at the edge using the back of the blade from here and then pull that piece out. But since I already had it off, I'm gonna uh, went ahead and just made like a little a uh, little fold so this way is a little bit cleaner but essentially they're the same thing and then push again with my finger see how soft that is now See now I've stretched that. If I heat this again, it's just gonna shrink. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't wanna heat it again because it's just gonna shrink, but just for the purpose of this video. See, it just shrunk right back up, so. So, now I'm gonna make a cut in here. Okay, I'm gonna stick my finger through. Let's make it a little bit bigger. All right, now I'm gonna start pushing the sides in, the edges, like kind of fold it over. And then we're gonna shrink it onto the other side so that way it hooks, okay? That's all we're doing, essentially. We're just shrinking them onto these edges. I'm gonna add some heat. Just let that kind of seal over like that. Same for this side. I think that's good. Cut off some excess. Okay. That was too easy, guys. Too easy. Again. on this side but nothing major there it is there's the uh, the window now I want to fill this space right here 
Um, normally I would uh, leave it, but just for the sake of you guys learning, I'm going to show you guys how to cut into vinyl without um, knife tape. Tape knife? Knife tape? You know, that string. So say I wanted to fill this, okay? But I wanted to cut here. How am I gonna do that? Well, first of all, I'm gonna use some masking tape right here. Okay. I don't know what size this is, but it's like it's like thinner ones. So I'll take some masking tape. I think that's about right. And then right where I wanna cut, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I just laid it right on top of that, like that. And again, this is just for the sake of you guys learning. I really wouldn't care to do this otherwise. Okay. And now, you're gonna wanna take a fresh blade, so cut it off. And just lightly, you're gonna lightly cut the vinyl okay um, so now you have this room in between this tape the and the uh, the fairing to cut you just want when well, you want like a light super light touch all right so okay and then peel this off and just kind of jerk it. See? You see that? And then when you're done, you have a nice straight edge and you just kind of start ripping the tape off from the bottom. Just like that. All right? So, yeah. I'm gonna line this up a little better. That's it. I think there's a little piece there, but whatever. You're not gonna see that. 